I'm Sarah Hashimaris for the Los Angeles Times. Let's take a look at some of today's trending headlines being covered by the Times newsroom this afternoon. Senator Rand Paul's rare marathon talking filibuster to block John Brennan's nomination as CIA director finally came to a close early Thursday morning after nearly 13 hours. The Kentucky Republican voiced his concerns on the constitutionality of the administration's use of drone strikes to target suspected terrorists. The Times reports that Paul gained support from Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell and admits he could have gone on for 12 more hours and try to break Strom Thurmond's record, but realizes some of the limits to filibustering. Los Angeles voters this week rejected a half-cent sales tax increase aimed at helping balance the city's budget, leading officials to prepare a new round of budget cuts targeting city services. The Times reports that Chief Administrative Officer Miguel Santana is slated to offer lawmakers a plan of potential budget reductions within days. Santana says cuts to the police department, fire services, and city infrastructure are not off-limits. Authorities have identified the woman attacked and killed earlier this week by an African lion at a Fresno County Wildcat Sanctuary as 24-year-old Diana Hansen, an intern at Project Survival's Cat Haven in Dunlap, and a recent California transplant. Though not much information has been disclosed by authorities, we do know that the 350-pound four-year-old male lion that attacked Hansen was fatally shot by police once they arrived at the sanctuary Wednesday after receiving an emergency call. Hansen was pronounced dead at the scene. For more on these stories and other headlines, be sure to keep up with our ongoing coverage on LATimes.com. I'll see you next time.